What is up everybody? I am Mumphy. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, thanks for joining. This is the first video of 2021. So thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for uh, subscribing and commenting on the videos of the installs and the journey with the 2020 Tacoma. I've got lots of plans coming up for the new year. Lots more uh, to do on this rig before it's to a point where, I don't know, I don't think I'll ever be finished with it completely, but it'll be a lot closer to where I want it to be. In any case, <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you. As of this video, I am really close to breaking 200 subscribers. Um, for this next year, I would love to hit a thousand uh, before June. How about the anniversary of when I bought the truck? So that'd be the end of May, so June, June-ish. Uh, and that'll be the one year anniversary. I'd love to get that. So please share uh, with your friends and help me uh, how many get a thousand for the for the Tacoma? Uh, if you like the videos, so thank you very much. Well, 2020 is gone. And we've done quite a bit of customization on the Tacoma the past year. I'm looking forward to what's coming down the line. I do have a lot of mods in progress. I hope you guys are excited to join me as I continue to build up this rig. Along with modding your truck, you're also going to come out with issues. And as you can see here, the grill lights are uh, kind of having an issue. We've got some flickering, we've got some moisture in the housing. So it's one of the issues that you have to correct and possibly plan for if you guys are doing mods like this. We will be correcting this. I did pick up some new ones and I'll tell you how I'm going to try and waterproof these a little bit. Um, and what I've done so far on the new set. Other issues that kind of pop up are, you know, just things you find as you're installing these mods, you know, a screw may not uh, go in as easily as it came out or one side will be a little bit more challenging than the other. I found that out with the fog lights. You know, you're working in kind of a, a small space or a limited area, so you run into small little angle issues trying to get your screwdriver into things, and making sure uh, it's seated correctly, um, especially for off-road fogs or off-road lighting in general. You run into issues where I've installed my fuse box, my, access, my accessory fuse box. Just getting into small nooks and crannies can cause issues. Being scared to pop off your side mirror covers when it sounds like it's going to break. You know, it's all sorts of these fun little adventures as you're going through modding. You know, some people have an issue with their TSS sensor, in which you may have to adjust using the screw that's actually back behind here. But that's also the fun of modding. You're learning as you're going. You're learning how you can put something together and really make your build your own. Because no two builds are alike. Yeah, they may share a lot of the same parts and components, but in the end, it's still yours. So there are lots of Tacomas out there. Yeah, they may share a lot of the same colors that you see, out on the road, white, cement, blue, <laughs> quicksand, but they are a reflection of the owner as well with how you mod it. So make sure you're modding it to suit your needs and not anybody else's. I will say one of the mods that I didn't care for that I got last year it's a giant rock chip in the windshield. So, <laughs> I know it's not like a true mod or anything, but it modified the windshield from nice and clean to big and cracked. And about a week later, 
I had another rock hit the windshield, basically crack it, and now it's toast. So, hey, life throws rocks at you or bolts or whatever it is that's on the freeway. You got to deal with it as they come up. So, <laughs> all right, let's get in to fixing the grill lights. I'll show you what I did. All right, so here we have a new set of grill lights, raptor lights, whatever you want to call them. And what I ended up doing was I took a little bit of silicone and ran it around the outside edge of each of these. And a couple of these that had the wires exposed, I put a little bead just around those. So as you can see, just some silicone around the housing. So I'm going to give this a shot and see if the electronics don't get fried in the water and the salt that I have out here in Utah. Hey guys, Muffy here, just doing a little bit of voiceover. I had an issue with uh, my audio, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of voiceover for this next little section here. Uh, what you'll need is a small pair of dikes and some spare zip ties. What you'll end up doing is just clipping the zip ties that are holding the wiring harness to the front of the grill. And we'll be replacing that. The only reason why we're doing that is so that we can unclip the grill lights a little bit easier. And zip ties are a dime a dozen, so it makes it fairly easy to reestablish. Well, here I'm showing you the connection from the wiring harness. It's just a, a little clip and I'll show you kind of how easy it is to attach and detach the housing. Just make sure that the locking section is pointed up towards the clip. Otherwise you kind of, uh, otherwise it's backwards and you'll have to redo it. So now all I'm doing is just removing the grill lights from the front of the grill, the old bad ones. And in a minute here, I'm going to show you kind of one of the issues that I had, which was condensation or water droplets in the housing. Uh, it probably doesn't show up too well on camera, but I was getting that issue. I was also having the issue of the flickering. So it's one of the reasons why I wanted to correct these and just get a new set. So placing them basically back in the same the same locations that I had them before. But one thing that I've always noticed with some of these, uh, and this is just with my grill, is that I have to do a little bit of modification to the housing. So I clip a couple of the sides and it's just on the furthest most outside edge of the grill lights. So the two that are toward the center uh, slide in real nice and easy and then you just end up clipping them all back together. got it tested it's working we know it's working let's get it zip tied up and get the issue of the LED grill lights wrapped up so basically now all I'm doing is just going through and resecuring the wiring harness with the zip ties and cleaning up the final project 
I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Hope this helped. Um, and we'll, I'll let uh, myself kind of wrap up the video. Well, guys, thanks for joining me on this video. Uh, I hope it uh, kind of gave you a couple extra tips as far as if you're doing the grill lights. Just make sure you put like a little bead of silicone around that, uh, that housing just so the moisture and water don't get in there. And, you know, as you're doing these mods, don't get frustrated if you run into a hiccup. Just be patient with it. Take your time. It looks like it's being completed fast on the video, but that's the magic of editing. So I edit out the struggle parts that I run into as I'm installing things and going along with it. But hopefully it helps you guys out, at least to be what aware to be aware of those possible issues that you might run into when installing mods to your Tacoma. Anyway, if you like this video, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are doing on your Tacomas. Uh, if you have any questions on what I've run into, what I've done on my Tacoma, hit me up in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.